Previously on Disgaea 6, Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world. In a world of bread and fairies, the Defenders of Justice stood up against the evil Germartians. Ha ha ha! Don't worry, kids! Prism Breadman has arrived to save the day! And my filling is made of love, courage, and friendship! So you're finally showing your face, you evil Jermartian! Priya ha ha ho! Hey, wait! Why am I the bad guy? Shut up! If you're really that against it, we can just switch your head out! <laughs> My neck! My head's not supposed to come off! The wheels of reincarnation never stop, and thus a new story begins. Fighting the god of destruction. And Prism Zed died, right? I'm alive and well. <sighs> as much as a zombie can be, anyway. <laughs> Allow me to explain. This is called Super Reincarnation. Oh, I get it. Justice is eternal. It can't die, right? Uh -huh. Indeed, I was about to say something along those lines. Wielders of heightened magical power, pray tell, who might you be? Huh? Who's this shriveled old hag? Oh, foul mouth brat. I am Marjorie, witch of the abyss and principal of the Magimage School of Magic. Our security system is flawless, and our familiars show no mercy to intruders. If you value your lives, leave at once. Shut up and get out of the way, hag. We've come here to take down the God of Destruction. What did you just say? You take down the God of Destruction? Ah! Yes, we. The Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers are here to save the day! Oh my! It seems we're officially members of the Prism Rangers now, Prism Pup! That's not my name. To think I wasted my time listening to you. It's not possible to defeat the God of Destruction. Hey, that's just your opinion. Impossible or not, it doesn't matter. I will take that thing down. Well... I do sense incredible power from you. Your eyes may look soulless and dead inside, but I can see that you've been through countless terrible battles. Still, it simply isn't possible to take down the God of Destruction. Not without the power of the legendary witch. Episode 5, The Magical Wand of Transformation. Only the power of the legendary witch can defeat the god of destruction. The legendary witch? Huh? You know something about that, Cerberus? No, pardon the interruption. Please continue. Certainly. Our school has been entrusted with the legendary witch's ultimate item. The magical wand of transformation. The legends state that using it will grant you the form of an invincible witch then and there. It's more than likely that the only way to defeat 
the strongest god of destruction is to utilize that power. Okay, hand it over then. I'll just turn into this invincible witch thing and take it down. Zed, do you of all people intend to become a witch? Psst, you do know that they're all girls, right? Who cares? All that matters is defeating the god of destruction. My, my! Prince Zed really won't hesitate to do whatever it takes. So Prism Zed will become Prism Zedina. Now that's what I call a ratings booster. I appreciate your spirit, but only fully trained witches like me are capable of transforming into invincible witches. Oh, uh, what the hell? All right then, Pruny, why don't you transform for us? What? Me? I suppose it's fine, since our school might otherwise be destroyed by the God of Destruction. Should that happen, my precious students would surely all perish. I must do all I can to prevent that from happening. Very well. Since it's only temporary, I shall transform into an invincible witch. Huh? Who the hell are these punks? Remember when I mentioned our security system? Since you weren't invited here, you're all technically intruders. But this is a good opportunity for me to grade your abilities. Zed and the others fought battle after battle to reach the magical wand transformation. Zed obtained the ultimate magical item, the magical what wand the of transformation. You managed to obtain it already? What's the problem? I just saved us a bunch of time. Huh. And here I thought you were a run-of-the-mill zombie. You're no ordinary individual, are you? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hurry up and transform, you old hag. This is for my students. Ah! Incredible. An overwhelming amount of magic power is being unleashed within me. <sighs> Zed. Zed. Huh? Who's calling me? Zed, I have a request to make. I can't hear you. If you got something to say, then speak up, got it? Please, stop him. Huh? What the hell was that? What's wrong now, Zed? <sighs> Nothing. I was just hearing things. You know how it is. My brain's rotted through. Hearing things? That's rather alarming, Zed. Um, speaking of alarming... Ah! What? What is with this shameless attire? Uh, who the hell are you? It's me, you brat! Magdalene! Magical girl, Pris Magical. Hmm. It appears the wand's magical power has transformed her from an old woman to a young girl. Is this really the time to be calmly analyzing the situation? I mean, just look at me. Who cares? Does it really matter as long as it helps us defeat the God of Destruction? Of course it does. 
What does this have to do with being invincible? Just trotting around as a miniskirt wearing magical girl when I'm already well over 10,000 years old. What a nightmare. The birth of a 10,000-year-old magical girl certainly is a nightmare. But dum but dum oh, If any of my acquaintances see me like this, it'll be the end of me! My, my, Madeline! Are you embarrassed? How positively adorable! She may look that way on the outside, but she's really over 10,000 years old, you know. That's totally fine. The TV audience won't care, as long as she's adorable. Cute as justice, too. Huh? What's this piece of paper? Oh? It appears to be the instructions for the Magical Wand of Transformation. According to this, you need to recite an incantation with a true name to receive its full power. An incantation with a true name? What am I supposed to say? Transform! Magical Girl Magnificent Marjoline is on the scene! Then you twirl. What? I said, transform! Magical Girl Magnificent Marjoline is on the scene with a twirl. Wh what? Hey, hurry up and say it already. I want to see what an invincible witch can do. Stop insisting on the impossible! I'm over 10,000 years old, you brat! As if I could ever say something so embarrassing. It's fine, familiars. These people aren't intruders. Stand down at once. Are you incapable of following simple commands? It's me, you fools! Principal Moduline! Don't you recognize me? Well, of course they don't. You look like a completely different person. <laughs> it's far more unreasonable to expect them to recognize you like this, is it not? I must defeat the God of Destruction and regain my original form. Otherwise, I'll lose my status, along with my dignity. About that, you do know you're stuck this way, right? It says right here in the instructions, once used, you cannot reverse course. Take care when doing so. Ah! What, what am I to do? I can't live like this! Why not? There's nothing wrong with being absolutely adorable. Don't you agree, Peori? She's right. Cute is justice after all. There are so many people who would pay mountains of cash to be young again. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. No, 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 no! This school values tradition and order. It is the most prestigious school in the netherworld. It is unimaginable for the principal of such an esteemed institution to run around as a shameless, magical girl! <laughs> oh, I don't see the problem here. Don't sweat the small stuff. This isn't small in the least! <sighs> How did it all come to this? You're the one who used that wand thingy without reading the instructions first. That's true, but... I told you not to sweat the small stuff. Don't you want to protect your students from the God of Destruction? Just focus on that. Does anything else really matter? Y you may be right, but... 
No! It's impossible what I happen to look like this! So, you care more about your looks than you do your students? Is that it? Uh, th th that's hm. I guess they don't mean that much to you after all. S silence! I will not allow myself to be lectured by some pathetic zombie. I am Principal Majoline of the prestigious Maji Mage School of Magic! My burden is greater than your existence. Burden? So whatever burden you got is more important than your students? Well, what about you? You couldn't possibly know what it's like to bear such a burden. Of course I do! Hm. I'll talk, most likely. If that's true, then tell me. Why are you fighting the God of Destruction? Because... Looks like we've got company. Time to shut our yaps. Hmm? What's wrong? Can't sleep, Pico? Yeah, I had a scary dream. Well, do you want to sleep here tonight? Yeah, yeah! Sleep over with Bubby! Bubby's super strong, so don't worry. There's nothing to be scared of as long as I'm here. Thanks, Bubby. I love you. No! Oh, Biko's cuteness almost vaporized me again. But, but Biko knows. Bubby's not good at fighting. People pick on poor Bubby all the time. So you saw that, huh? Well, I may be weak in a fight, but do you know what is strong? My heart. No matter what happens, I'll protect you, Biko. Now get some sleep, okay? Okay. <laughs> I love you lots, Bubby. Night night. <sighs> What's wrong, Zed? You have that sad look you get when you're thinking about Biko. Shut up. Mind your own business for once. Biko is the name of Zed's younger sister, correct? Huh? Prism Zed's got a Prism Sis? Let's add her to our ranks! Actually, I've been wondering, why isn't she here with you? Is she watching the house like a good little girl? No. She was killed by the God of Destruction. Uh. Why, that's... Damn it, Cerberus, you stupid blabbermouth! There's no point in hiding it. They would have found out eventually. Prism Zed, who knew you had such a tragic backstory? I see. You wish to fight the God of Destruction in order to avenge your younger sister. To think I believed my own burden was heavier than yours. Please forgive me. You have my sincerest apologies. I don't need your stupid apology. All I need is to take down the God of Destruction. Prince said, I finally understand why you keep opposing the God of Destruction, regardless of your wounds. Badump. Huh? Did my heart just badump? I I'm a princess. It isn't possible for some zombie to make my heart race like this. No, it's absolutely impossible. Young Zed is fighting solely to avenge his deceased sister. In comparison to him, I... I wish to protect my students, even at the cost of my life. That much is for certain. But... At the same time, I am bound by the fear of how others perceive me. It's become very clear to me now. I swore to never lose any of my precious students ever again. But here I am, fretting over my appearance. I... I... What? What's going on? I'm 
detecting an extremely high energy signature. The God of Destruction has appeared! The God of Destruction? I must do something to stop it before my students are caught up in this mess! So this is the God of Destruction. I've never seen it up close before. How very sinister. You guys ready? Don't chicken out on me. <sighs> Are you alright, Magdalene? You can hide somewhere if you're frightened, you know? That's right! Everyone's big sister, Prism Red, will protect you! Stop treating me like a child, you brats! Huh? Who do you take me for? I'm the Witch of the Abyss, and the principal of the prestigious Magi Mage School of Magic! Who cares about appearances? I will do whatever is necessary to protect my students! Transform! Magical girl, magnificent Magdalene is on the scene! Twirl! Looks like Magic Granny finally snapped. All right, let's take that stupid God of Destruction down this time. How can this be? Even the power of an invincible witch is no match for the God of Destruction. It's possible you haven't acclimated to the transformation enough to unleash its full power yet. That's gotta be it! We'll keep getting stronger, so we can always try again next time! If we die now, there won't be a next time! <laughs> That's not necessarily so! You see, there's a spell known as Super Reincarnation. Yo, morons! Why the hell are you giving up so soon? Something bad? Of course not. I'm simply sinking into despair. Poor Vico. An adorable little girl was killed by the god of destruction. How could life be so cruel and unjust? You're crying for Vico? You're not so bad for an overlord. I always figured you were all jerks that don't know how to bleed or cry. Being easily moved to tears is my only weakness. I won't forgive that horrid thing. The force of my wrath will... Chill. I said I took it out already. Stop spinning your lies. Haven't you perished each and every time you faced it? 
As I said, it isn't possible for scum like you to defeat the God of Destruction. We will proceed to execute... I object! You what? Who the hell even are you? Yo -ho -ho! I am the one and only Misador, king of the human world. Zed's story is certainly no lie. I myself shall testify to that.